Hi, in this session, I'm going to show you how to create random numbers or generate random numbers, and I'll show you three examples. Now, the first example is a first two examples are functions. So the first one is a rand function. So it's equal R A N D, and all you need to do is just put an open parentheses, close parentheses, and press enter. And what it does is it generates a random number between zero and one. So if you just needed a zero and one kind of a random number between zero and one, you can just use that particular function. You don't have to put any arguments in there. Now I can just copy it down here. If I wanted a bunch of random numbers, I can just copy it over here. And it will give me a bunch of random numbers between 0 and 1. Now the other random number function is random number between. So if I put equal random number, let me go and increase this a little bit bigger here. If I do a uh, random number in between, I have to, I have to put R-A-N-D-B and it will give me this little tooltip ran between. I'll just double click that to select it. And what it does is you can select a lower range and upper range. So let's say we want a random number between 10 and 1000. And I'll just close parentheses there, press enter, and it will create a random number between 10 and 1000. If I pull this down here and maybe over here, you'll see that there's a bunch of numbers here that are randomized. In addition, if you also wanted to randomize these numbers, since this is a function here, what you can do is you can go into formulas and, and click the calculate now or just press the F9 key and it will auto generate or it will regenerate those random numbers. So if I click this, you'll see it's regenerating it. If I go back here to sheet one and I do it again or press F9, it will do the same thing. So those are the two examples using functions. Now the third example is actually using an add-in and you go under the data tab and you're looking for this data analysis add-in. Now, if you don't have this add-in, you can actually go and right click on the menu anywhere and go to customize ribbon and go into the add-ins here. And you see I have an active add-in. If I go ahead and clicked, if I went to manage Excel add-ins and click go and unselected that and click OK, you'll see that it will disappear here. So that's probably why if you don't have it there, it's probably not selected. So I'm gonna go ahead and right click in my menu, in my ribbon here and go to Customize Ribbon and go back into the add-ins here in the navigation and go ahead and uh, see that's inactive so I'm going to go ahead and look for the add-ins and go ahead and recheck that box click OK and it shows up here. So in the Data Analysis add-in you just have to click it it's going to come up with a window where there are several analysis tools and one of them is the Random Number Generator. So if I click OK you have another window where you can select some parameters now the number of variables actually just means the number of rows. How many rows do you want the number generator to put numbers in? Let's just say I put five. Let's say I also want I want 25 random numbers. This number of random numbers is how many rows. So the first one was how many columns. I think I said rows mistakenly. So this is how many columns and the random numbers is how many rows. So let's say that one, a five by five matrix. Basically 25 random numbers. So now with distribution, it gives you a couple choices. You can have dis you can have uniform, normal, Bernoulli, binomial, Poisson, pattern, and discrete. I'm just going to cover uniform and normal. The other ones, I'm not a statistics person, so I can't really explain those too well. But I can probably cover uniform and normal. With uniform, basically, it's just like the random number in bet rand between function you're basically choosing something between some parameters. So if I had 10 and 1,000 here, like my other example, um, I can just click OK. Oh, first off, this random seed, basically if you enter a number in here, it will generate the same random numbers. So if you leave it blank, it will generate new random numbers if you go through this again. Um, with the output options, you can either put it into a range in, this, in the worksheet or a new worksheet or and you give it a name or a new workbook. I'm just going to go ahead and output the range uh, here. All right. So if I click OK, you'll see now it's got some. Let me go ahead and increase the size here. You'll see now it's got some random numbers. Now one difference between this and the rand in between function is it puts the decimal places. I believe. Oh, let's see. I think it's out to the billionth decimals place here. I think just a really big uh, number in decimals. Right. So if I go back into data analysis. And I'll let me go ahead and click OK. Let's say I wanted to do the other distribution. I wanted to do a normal distribution. And basically, this gives you additional parameters such as the mean and standard deviation. So if I knew there was a certain mean that I wanted to select random numbers, let's say maybe 100, 
mean basically an average. And then the standard, standard deviation, maybe I want two standard deviations away from it. It's going to create a random number of 100, well, within the 100, plus or minus two standard deviations. So I'm going to have it in the same output range here. So if I click OK, you'll notice now it's going to ask, it's going to override it. Is it OK to override it? And I click OK. And basically now it's generated uh, pretty much a random number in the mean of 100 with about two standard deviations. So there's the other example of how we can generate random numbers. Uh, one with two with rand functions. This is the rand function here. Uh, another one with the rand between function. And here using the data analysis tool pack. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.